Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Jujitsu 2000 here today. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'm back, I've got an interesting video for you today. I wanna talk about a small solar panel. This is the Renogy E-Flex 5. This panel is very, very special. I talked about this panel in a recent live uh, video on my channel about using this to power my GoPro and charge my phone and things like that. And the reason I got a brand new one is because I was out with a friend and I had this panel with me and they loved it, so I gave it to my friend. I had to buy me a new one. So these are about $30. They come with a power bank so this panel is very specific for the type of use that you're going to be using this for this is for ultra light type people people that are going to be in areas where there's going to be a lot of sunlight people that don't want to carry the big old heavy uh solar panel on their back this is a light panel but it's also one that takes a patient person you can't uh, think that this is going to charge your phone in an hour. It's not going to do that. This thing takes a long time and it requires massive amounts of sun to work. This is also the one of the lightest panels that you can buy that will do the job that I know of. It's I think it's fantastic. I live in the southwest. We get sunlight all the time and something like this for me personally is fantastic. In fact, this is one of those panels that I put in my pack. I leave it in my pack and I forget about it. And uh, in the event that I need to charge, I pull it out, charge the uh, power bank, or charge my phone. Now, charging your phone with something like this uh, does take a little bit of tricks. I'll talk about that in this video. So I'm looking at the back here and I'm going to read some of these specs to you. Uh, it says if you're using just the panel, the E-Flex 5, you could charge your your phone, your smartphone, in 2.3 hours. Now remember, that is under ideal, perfect sun situations, okay? 2.3 hours, um, yes, but what I will say is when it comes to charging your phone, don't think that you're going to be able to charge your phone while you're using it. Okay, so if you got your phone powered on, of course it's bright sun, so you got your screen uh, very bright, that's going to draw energy, so you're kind of going to be just keeping the phone alive at that point. You're not going to actually be charging. You're going to be just using your phone for free, right? So if you want to charge your phone, what I do personally is I turn my phone completely off and then I plug it in, I make sure this is in good sunlight. If you have like overcast days where the sun, there's clouds and stuff coming in and out, and you're trying to charge your phone while it's turned on, your phone's gonna give you a, a vibrate or a, or a sound every time it starts to charge again. And every time your phone does that, it takes energy. So in the, in the end, what you're actually doing is decreasing your battery level on your phone. So when you're in cloudy environments, turn your phone off and this will charge it up. Now, if you wanna talk about the battery, this is a 2500 milliamp hour uh, rechargeable battery. This is an 18655 battery inside of here. So if you charge this up, then you can use this to charge your phone. Okay, very, very cool. Now it says here on the back that if you charge your smartphone using the battery bank, it's going to take 1.8 hours. Now, it also talks about charging tablets. It says 11 hours to charge a tablet. Now, here in the Southwest, I don't have 11 hours of optimal sunlight here in the Southwest. I probably have about 8 hours. So that means to charge your tablet, you might be looking at 2 days to do that. So again, this is for, and, and just like I said on your phone, I would recommend turning your tablet off to charge it. Now, if you're using the battery bank, it says that it'll take 7.7 .7 hours to charge your tablet. Now, digital cameras. 
This is where this thing shines, in my opinion. My GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition. One and a half hours to charge your camera. Same rule applies. Turn the camera off and let it charge. If you're using your camera like I do and you're out shooting a video, this panel in good sunlight will keep you at whatever your battery's at and it might slightly increase a little bit of charging but if you're using your camera and you're at 70 percent when you start you might film for a little while and you'll still be at 70 71 percent okay so it's not necessarily gonna charge your camera unless you turn it off that's from my experience if you use the battery bank they say 1.1 hours to charge your digital camera now it says here charge times are approximated based on the average wattage of popular devices actual times of charging may vary <laughs> that's so true so there's a look at that chart so feel free to pause your screen if you want to hang on to that information personally I think this is a fantastic solar panel it's one of those things like I said you don't even know you have it with you it's it doesn't weigh nothing this thin lightweight panel weighs less than a pound and it's way less than a pound less than half a pound making traveling with it a breeze durable it's designed for the outdoors this water resistant solar panel portable panel is made to withstand the elements and go anywhere you go and that is absolutely true I've had this panel of mine rained on and dropped and dragged and dust and and it doesn't it doesn't bother it one bit hassle free it says thanks to the auto optimization charging you won't have to reconnect your device uh, to the eflex whether you step out when you step out of the shade the included accessories will allow flexible mounting creating a true on-the-go experience so what they're talking about is you can hang that on your pack and you can hike okay so the rated power output is five watts that's not much at all but it is enough if you use your devices like I mentioned you know turn your phone off turn your tablet off use your GoPro film your stuff and it'll maintain your GoPro the weight of the panel <laughs> check this out 6.7 ounces very light um, the weight of the uh, battery 2.2 ounces so seven eight point nine ounces so under nine ounces and you have all of this pretty crazy the capacity of the battery is 2500 milliamp hour this is a monocrystalline cell panel so you get that you get a one amp charge at five volts this is what I was talking about in my uh, live the other day and the USB output on the battery is also one amp at five volts so again very slow charging the dimensions of the panel is nine and a half inches by five and a half inches by 0.16 inches thick and the dimensions of the battery bank is 3.74 inches by 0.98 inches by 0.87 inches now the panel surface material is that ETFE man, uh, uh, laminate which is very very durable stuff this is made in China of course lightweight water resistant auto optimization charging and USB compatible so very very cool this thing is fantastic I can't say enough good things about this panel and I also cannot stress enough that this is for specific uses okay if you're the kind of person that is impatient don't even waste your time trust me this thing is for patient people so pulling this out I got a few things here uh, there's there's a couple suction cups <laughs> and it's funny I had to buy a new one because I gave the old one to my buddy he's like I like this thing I'm like take it <laughs> 30 bucks you know so you get four suction cups if you want to mount this like to a windshield or something like that on a vehicle you get a USB 2 to micro USB charging cable so that'll fit my phone you get two carabiners okay 
And then, of course, you've got your owner's manual, which talks about all this stuff here. Oh, they also make it in a 10 watt uh, panel, too, where you got two panels. So you got two fives fused together. They make it in a 10 watt option. So if you want something with a little bit more power but still staying very lightweight, they do have that 10 watt option available. So key features, uh, eFlex is a solar charger incorporating simple plug and play feature to keep your devices charged. Charge devices such as smartphones, tablets, and MP3 players faster and efficiently thanks to the new start auto optimization feature. With its ultra lightweight and compact design, take the eFlex anywhere for a true on the go charging experience. And I'm telling you, this is a fantastic panel, I'm not, no joke. This is the battery bank. It's very small, and again, this is built for light duty stuff. This is built for using the sunlight to harness that sunlight so that you can use it later. Because what do most people do when they camp? They want to be active during the day while the sun's out, and then at night when they're getting ready to bed, that's when they want to play on their phone. So they sit there and they charge this thing during the day, and it, like I said, it'll take a long time to do it. And then once the sun goes down, guess what? You're going to use this. Your phone's already charged, and now you have this charged too, so you can play with your phone at night. And then again, repeat the process the following day. Charge this over and over and over. It's very cool. So here's a look at the panel itself. Very small. Look at that. Very small, very thin. And it doesn't weigh anything. And Renogy is a fantastic company. This thing is, is very durable. And there's a look at the charge controller or the USB port right there on it. So very nice. But this that's it. That's all there is to it. This thing is small. It's You don't even know you have it. But this thing is built very well. It's very durable. It's a little bit flexible. Not too flexible. You don't want to bend it too much. But it's it's fantastic. I've had this thing get rained on. I've dropped it. I've scratched it. Uh, and it's it's held up just fine when my friend saw mine. He's like dude. Where do I get one? I'm like take mine. You can have it So very very cool now. Here's some technical Specifications that you might want to take a look at and it's basically the 5 watt versus the 10 watt panels and So you can see that the that the 5 watt charges at 1 amp and the 10 watt charges at 2 amps and then, of course, right there it talks about the weight of the 5 watt versus the 10 watt. So that's some good information right there. Okay, so right now, my apologies for having the camera facing the sun, but I have the Renogy 5 watt E-Flex panel. I've got a USB tester and I have my phone charging. I'm at 53%. I just picked up 1%. I was at 52 just a second ago. But I'm drawing 4.91 volts and I'm charging at about half of an amp, almost three quarters of an amp. So I'm at 0.68 on my amperage. I'm going to try to bring that a little closer. Maybe you can see that read out there on that digital display. But as of right now, my phone is charging. Um, I have this thing on very bright on my phone screen. So it's probably, hopefully you're seeing that. I don't know how good you saw that, but if I push the button here and I turn my screen off, it'll charge even quicker because it doesn't have to display anything on the screen. So that's basically what's going on right now. I could set this panel out, I could set it down, but as long as I'm showing uh, just over half of an amp and 4.92 volts, and I am still at 53%, but this panel works. I'm going to wait until it hits 54% and then that way you'll kind of get a, an idea of the amount of time that it takes to get this thing up 1%. So I'm pulling in a little over half of an amp. 4.93 volts of input. So it does pretty good. It's a good little panel. 54% right now. Now I'm going to try to show you that. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. Still charging. 54%. So this panel works good. Just turn the screen off on your phone. 
or turn your phone off completely and you can do your thing. I'm at 0.59 so just over half of an amp of charging. So it does pretty good. Okay let's take a look and see if it'll charge my GoPro. So I got my GoPro sitting here on my knee. Got my panel aimed off towards the sun and let's give it a second. There I have a red indicator now on my GoPro. Hopefully you're seeing that. So my GoPro is now charging using this 5 watt panel. Again, you can see that red indicator. So this panel does very good. I'm drawing 4.91 volts and 0.73 of an amp. So almost, almost an amp, three quarters of an amp. So it's doing pretty good for such a small panel. And I'm trying to aim it uh, directly at the sun. 0.73 of an amp very good for a lightweight panel and again my GoPro is just charging away this thing works very well for a small lightweight option that's you're gonna be patient with and something that's not gonna carry a lot of weight in your pack I can plug in my power bank my battery here and you can see there is a green flashing light indicator telling me that I am charging. So let me try to hold that a little closer. Hopefully you can see that. It's very bright out, so I'm not sure if you're seeing that. But that little indicator right there, it's flashing green. So very cool. And then, of course, I could let that thing charge until it's done. So some of you out there might be wondering what are my final thoughts on a panel like this. I already know what these panels can do. I've been using one for a long time. Like I said, I gave it away to a friend of mine. So for me, these are already uh, something that I value. But for you guys, hopefully this information that I shared with you in this video showed you enough to see if this is something that's good for you or not. They're very thin they don't weigh nothing very light you can take paracord and hang this over your back uh, again charging your devices is very simple you just gotta be patient I think it's a fantastic panel I think Renogy is a good company and with all that being said folks again I want to say thank you for stopping by on this video I hope you got some good useful information out of it Please make sure that you're checking the description box down below because I'll put links to where you can find this. And as always, I would love to see what you have to say in the comments section. And until next time, folks, I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you then. Bye for now. You could use it as a fan. <laughs> you could fan yourself if you get too hot. <laughs>